When I was younger, I would always find myself in my grandparents' house, playing under PS1 to PS3. This led me to playing some games that I probably shouldn't have, and if my mother knew at the time, she would probably flip out. Most games I played were innocent, like Spyro and Skylanders. I also played games like Tomb Raider and Twisted Metal, but it wasn't those games that scared me the most, although some parts of Twisted Metal Black did. But for me, Tomb Raider was mostly just annoying, especially those wolves that never seemed to die, and the annoying camera that wouldn't stay still. Me and my nan also recently finished Underworld, and the last part of a game with the moving platforms did our head in. Apescape Move is a game that really scared me, but was innocent in nature. There wasn't anything inappropriate or bad for my age, but it still creeped me out. There was something about those monkeys that just scared me. It was always stressful with having to catch them, but there was one level in general that scared me called Monkey Carousel. I recently replayed the game at my grandparents' house, and the level itself isn't scary now, just rather humorous as you have to beat up a fat monkey to progress. The start of a game was in an anime style of animation news report talking about the apes as they cause chaos. The anime cutscenes were really nice and were animated really well. The menu music also scared me, but not in a scary way, similar to what I was saying about the Disney scene at video I made. Just nostalgic, and even when I was younger it scared me. I've never liked loud noises, and this playing loudly in the playroom never helped. It was just always too joyful and aggressive. It does fit the actual game though. When you caught a monkey, you're not with that out a voice saying gotcha in an echoing female voice. For some reason, this voice always scared me, despite the fact it's completely innocent in nature and lighthearted. Moving on to Operation Creature Feature. It's another PS3 move game, but instead of catching creatures, you're actually freeing them. It's about blurbs, these little creatures that you have to save, and are captured by the dark fog with humans trying to free them from their enslaved cages. The game has nothing inherently scary to it, but the music and the art in the game always scared me. The stress of having to try and save the blurbs was intense too. I was always screaming by the end as I panicked to try and save them. You only had a limited amount of time to save them before they would, to my imagination, die. The art of the humans and the enslaved blurbs scared me the most. But the worst was the music. When you were to hover over the game in the game choosing screen, it would just play so loud and I was never prepared for it. The last game I would talk about, at least for now, is Twisted Metal Black. The actual racing part of it never scared me, I was just really crap at it. It was the music at the beginning of the game. The clown never scared me, I always like clowns. But the music was really odd, something I would actually listen to myself for now and I do really enjoy it. But then it was just too aggressive and scary. I never really understood the game and its story, but I still played it with my nan. I also recently replayed it on the PS2 and I have gotten better at the driving as I had to play it for about an hour or so as I was stuck trying to get the black cube at the top of Crusher. It is rated mature, so I definitely shouldn't have been allowed to play it, but it wasn't that bad. I had some bad words, but the gameplay wasn't scary, just confusing. To this day, I still don't really understand what you're actually meant to do. It just instantly threw you into the game and left you to your own devices. I've never actually been good at racing games, other than Mario Kart. The last game I would talk about, at least for now, is Twisted Metal Black. The actual racing part of it never scared me, I was just really crap at it. It was the music at the beginning of the game. The clown never scared me, I always liked clowns, but the music was really odd, something I would actually listen to myself for now and I do really enjoy it, but then it was just too aggressive and scary. I never really understood the game and its story, but I still played it with my nan. I also recently replayed it on the PS2 and I have gotten better at the driving as I had to play it for about an hour or so as I was stuck trying to get the black cube at the top of Crusher. It is rated mature, so I definitely shouldn't have been allowed to play it, but it wasn't that bad. I had some bad words, but the gameplay wasn't scary, just confusing. To this day, I still don't really understand what you're actually meant to do. It just instantly threw you into the game and left you to your own devices. I've never actually been good at racing games, other than Mario Kart. That's all for now, but I know there's other games I could talk about. Maybe I'll make a part two. But I've been Faith for Traffic Glitch, and I will see you next time. <laughs>